Welcome to episode 3 of menu 2C. Today we're talking about nucleic acids, so let's get started. Our first point is that nucleic acids are made of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and phosphorus. Those are the five key elements that make up a nucleic acid. Our little acronym is CHOMP. So keep that in your mind. You might see that later on. We have three functions of a nucleic acid. The first is they are involved with heredity. <laughs> DNA is our main molecule here. So the DNA will, is our main instructions for protein synthesis. Down our next little function is protein synthesis itself. The RNA is transcribed and translated into proteins, but you guys are going to cover that later on in chapter 13. Our last point is that it is involved with energy use. So. RNA and ATP look very similar, and we're going to check that out later in this episode. What's the monomer of a nucleic acid, you ask? It's a nucleotide. A nucleotide consists of three different parts. You have a 5-carbon sugar, a phosphate group, and a, and a nitrogenous base. Our 5-carbon sugar can either be a ribose, the R and RNA, or the deoxyribose, the D and DNA. The phosphate group is going to stay the same in both molecules, but the nitrogenous base will change and determine what it is. So you have five different types. In DNA, you have adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. And in RNA, instead of thymine, you have uracil. So write that down, make a note, all right? Last but not least is the basic structure of these nucleotides. Over here, as we zoom into our basic structure, you see that we have a nitrogenous base. This is the one that's going to change. You have those five different types. This one will be different in each molecule. You have the five carbon sugar. This will either be your ribose or your deoxyribose. In the end, you have your phosphate group. As we move down to our ATP structure, we'll zoom in and you'll see that there is the adenine. Here's the adenine. That's your nitrogenous base. You have your ribose, and then you have your phosphate group. Not one, not two, but three. And in between these phosphate groups are high energy bonds, so when they're broken, high energy is released. That's it. Until next time, we'll catch you on the flip side.